Hey guys. All right, today we're gonna to be talking about zoning. Zoning inside of a house is uh, where you can um, customize where air moves inside of the house. So say you have your HVAC system, right? And you have a thermostat. So T-stat is short for thermostat. So you got thermostat one, thermostat two, thermostat three, but only one HVAC system. What zoning does is say if you had one thermostat inside of your house right now, thermostat one, and it supplied the whole house, but say you had two stories and uh, you wanted to go ahead and see if your house was capable of having zoning. What zoning does is it now turns your one unit, your one thermostat, and can turn it into multiple thermostats. So say if you wanted one thermostat um, in your master bedroom, just your master bedroom, so you can keep it an ice box if you want, right? So now we'll turn that into thermostat two. Thermostat two becomes your master bedroom. Let's say you only wanted thermostat one for downstairs, just for downstairs. So now this is just for downstairs. And then you got thermostat three. I want that thermostat to be the rest of the bedrooms for upstairs. Okay, so this is the rest of upstairs. So how I do that is your current HVAC system, your current heating and air unit, I have to put these balancers and there are electronic balancers that hook up to the thermostat. I hook up one to come over here. I hook up a separate one to come over to there and your third one to go over there. They're all controlled with uh, electronic motors to tell it when to open or when to close. So your thermostat in your master bedroom just has to tell it to open up. When only your master bedroom opens up, these guys will close off. Say if your master bedroom is on and your downstairs wants to be on. Now, both of these guys will turn on and they'll go ahead and blow out the air it needs to. And then your thermostat three will just shut off. Now, say if the whole house um, was turned on at the same time. Now, all of these guys will be open and all of them will feed air throughout the house. But now you're conserving electricity because you're really only heating or cooling the sections of the house that you're wanting to cool. Not all heating and air conditioning units can be adapted to do this, but a, a great way for uh, me to have the means or the way to do it is if the unit is located in the attic. If it's in the attic, this is definitely a great scenario for a homeowner um, because it customizes how they're running their heating and air conditioning unit. Also, um, with their current HVAC system, I have to make sure prior to even mentioning that I can do this, I have to see what kind of HVAC system that they have. I want to make sure that if I put these in, that unit can handle doing all that stuff. I don't want to make a um, something that's not a problem turn into a problem. So that's why when I go out and I offer the zoning, I make sure first that that unit can handle zoning. So if you ever have any questions about that, if a homeowner says, I want a thermostat in this area or a thermostat in that area, and they're not quite sure what the zoning is about, but they know where they want the air to go, give me a call. I can help you either over the phone or I will go out and I'll do a consultation and I'll see if their house can handle it. And that's either me speaking with the homeowner or me just um, running through the house just to take a look and then giving you a call and letting you know what I think before we go ahead and offer something like that. But this is basics of zoning. All right, thanks.